This patient had a BBL quite a few years ago and she's not particularly happy with her shape. It's fat male distribution or you can consider it sort of an older BBL. When I look at her, I think it just deviates from the OG line. Maximal projection. We want this line to be smooth. Not everyone lipos in the key area. In my opinion, this is uh, pretty easy to correct. At least it's easy to try to correct it. It's fat male distribution, or you can consider it sort of an older BBL, maybe one of the BBLs that was done a long time ago. I think when BBLs were first done, you know, we're going back 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, the point of maximal projection was kind of high. So it was all about getting more of a shelf, a really big butt and everyone to know that you had a big butt. And it's really changed, I think. And, and certainly for me over the last 10 years, just always doing the OG line and following the OG line, it kind of tells me where this point of maximal projection of the hip should be. And so I think just lowering it gives her a little bit more natural look. It gives her a little bit more modern BBL, which is softer, more natural shape. The OG line is just a natural, pretty line found in nature. So why wouldn't we all want to look like that? Not everyone does, I totally get it. Um, but in my mind, that's what I like. So she's had lipo in this key area already. So that's already doing a lot to start to round her butt. But here's what, what I think the difference is. And I call it fat male distribution just because it's not distributed in the area that I want it to fill the OG. Her point of maximal projection for her hip is really very high. I don't want it in this location. I want her point of maximal projection to come more in this area here. We're going to be doing the second round BBL. I'm not going to be focused on putting fat here. I don't want to put fat here at all. I want this to come out. Now, will it come out exactly as I want? I don't know. But I also want to blend all of this in. What I look at when I'm looking at her is I'm looking at this line that starts here. But now look, it comes in. And then it comes out and it keeps coming out. I don't want that. I want this line to come up here. I want this to be filled in. I want the point of maximal projection to be here. And then from this point on, I want this to start coming in more. So I don't lipo this because you really can kind of get into trouble when you start lipoing the butt. So I don't lipo this, but what I want to do is overcompensate by moving this point of maximal projection down and getting some more coming at fat coming out here so that that line will come out there. So let me try and see what happens. Okay, finished. It's not perfect. Nothing is ever perfect. It's always a little frustrating because you're trying to make it perfect and, and the tissue doesn't always cooperate, but it's pretty good. And I think that we've accomplished what we set out to do, and that is by changing that fat maldistribution from being up in that high part to making it more in the middle of the butt. And so we get a, a little bit closer to the OG. It's not, it's like I said, it's not perfect, but I would like a little bit better transition in here, but this is just tight and I, I can't put any more in. But I really have moved her point of maximal projection. Like just the shape of her buttock looks much better. It looks more natural because it's unnatural to have fat up high in that part. It's more natural to have it here where we want your hip projecting. So overall, I think just a much more natural, pretty look and actually remove quite a bit of fat on her as well. So she's gonna have a much smaller waist. So I think she's gonna be pretty happy.